Okay everyone, so in the last videos we downloaded all this stuff over here in this PC that will be controlling a lot of different things. Now in this video I want to show you, okay you have done all the work now. You don't want to do this all over again, so you would need something that would make a backup of this PC. So one way is to go to your uh, start menu and then go to your... Um, your system restore and then from there you can do it but a lot of time people don't trust that when it won't work I mean it work but sometimes it don't work so but anyways I think there is a better tool uh, and we are going to be using that so we have done all this work over here we have iTalk that will be monitoring we have Spiceworks we have uh, 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 HTTP file server and then we are going to be downloading another thing that will be a deployment um, uh, so server in this machine so in this video I'll show you how to back up everything uh, and then you have it for um, all the time if there's a virus that struck this PC then you will be in trouble so we would need something that would take a really good snapshot of this machine and then any anytime we have this problem with wires or anything like that all we have to do is just to call the snapshot again and restore it so the first thing you need to do is go to Google problem with my okay. okay once you go to Google type in Komodo time machine and then click on it click on data recovery with Komodo time machine okay then you have to click on this free download it will tell you over here you can read all that but I'll just go through and download it right away so you can see my client Komodo um, it's downloading this is the setup file alright as you can see that Komodo is uh, right here so all we're gonna do is uh, run the setup all right click on run click on English Okay, first time you're gonna see this. Welcome to Komodo Time Machine setup, and then close this. Next, and then accept agreement. Click on next. Then go down. Click on next again, and it will start installation. Okay, it's gonna be asking for that. It needs 10. I'm actually using a virtual PC, so let's see if it's gonna work on this. Install and then wait for installation. Okay, click finish button to finish the setup. We're gonna click finish. You must restart your system. And yes, we have to restart it, so let's restart the system. Alright, it's logging off. Okay, the first time it's gonna run this way. It's 
it's going to be doing this setup so don't worry about it okay as you can see Komodo is installed in this right here um, now what we're going to do let's check what's going on inside Komodo double click on it 